Well, Colin Edwards, welcome to the Circuit of the Americas. I wonder, having raced around the world as you have for so many years, what your thoughts were driving into the circuit for the first time? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, that, to, to be driving around in Texas and see a facility like this uh, that we all race motorcycles or cars on is, uh, is obviously foreign. Uh, you, know, you could say uh, Texas World Speedway is not far from my house, but it's a completely different venue, just a big oval. Um, but yeah, to pull up out of here and see that they've done it proper, that they've done it right here at Coda, it's, uh, it's fantastic. And it must be special for you. You've been racing around the world, and your notoriety in, in countries like Britain and, and, and Germany and Italy is huge. Whereas here, uh, not so much. Motorcycle racing still is not that big a sport. Although this year, funnily enough, that could be a changeover because we've got so many MotoGP races here. So your thoughts on just the fact that you know you were just in the right time because you're not going to be racing forever, and this has just come at the perfect time when you're still at the top of MotoGP and you've got a chance to race at home. Yeah, the first race Grand Prix I'll ever drive to is coming in April, and it's right here. So I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, friends and family, and and, and we're going to have a ton of people come from northeast, southwest, I think South America as well kind of see a Grand Prix, which they normally come anyways, but it's, uh, it's going to be fantastic. And, and we're just, I think everybody's so pumped right now. And the fact that we're actually here, I can't stop looking out the garage just because <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's mind blowing how, how big it is. And uh, they've just done it right. That's a good thing. You haven't actually raced the circuit yet, but you've been around in a car. So have they got it right? Yes. Yeah. It's a, uh, Every track has its own personality, you know, and, and we know the designer and the builder uh, that designed the track and just been on a few of his tracks, but even his tracks, they have some things, characteristics that are very similar. Um, but here they've they've done a great job. And, and something new to me that I've never really seen is in some of the braking areas, they've really opened the track up a lot to, to which obviously you have so many different lines that you could take. And that's just makes for a better racing, you know, you get, you get more passing, you get better racing. And uh, that's, that's a new, new personality, a trait in a track that uh, I'm liking. How special is for you racing in America, for Nicky Hayden, for Ben Spees and yourself, uh, Laguna Seca, Indianapolis, these are the places where hundreds of thousands of people come to literally worship the American dream effectively, because you're living it, you know, you get to ride the fastest motorcycles in the world. Everybody wants to do that. Every boyhood dream is to do that. How is it for you coming home wherever you race? It's, it's funny to hear you talk because, you know, whenever we're home, and I don't know, maybe it's just me and my attitude, but when I go to Laguna or go to India or here, I'm like, hey, dude, what's up? You know, and that's just kind of how I am. But in, in Europe, obviously, it's a lot different. I think they, their, their worship, let's say, that word that you used, it's a little bit different. It's here, everybody comes out to have a good time, and they know me at, at that I'm pretty easy going and it's, hey, how's it going? You know, and that's, uh, but look forward to it either way. But it, the fact that it's here, we got three races, three races this next year. That's this year, it's amazing. For many fans coming to the Circuit of the Americas in April, it might be their first MotoGP experience. So tell us a little bit about uh, what to expect in terms of the schedule and how the weekend works. Uh, as far as, we got all three classes coming, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it's going to be an event and it's, it's wide open all weekend. Uh, all explain what those three classes are. Well, your MotoGP is basically, it's a uh, thousand cc now. Um, pretty much Formula One cars on two wheels, just pure prototypes. Uh, we also have the CRT class, which I'll be in, which is with them. Um, then you have the Moto2 class, which is 600s. Um, and then the Moto3, which is 250 four strokes. And they're all, pretty much all of them are prototype. All of them are prototype chassis, uh, every class. Uh, only the CRT bikes will have, let's say, production engines pumped up. And we're in for a treat. We've got Valentino Rossi, a multiple, multiple world champion who arguably could go down as the greatest rider of all time. Uh, and he'll be racing. Uh, and he'll be racing for Yamaha, which is a team, of course, he's raced for and you've raced for and you were teammates uh, with him. That's a special thing, I think, for people to celebrate. Nicky Hayden's coming, uh, you know, a guy who's been right to the top himself and is still doing exactly that. Ben Spees uh, coming here, slightly younger, uh, and probably haven't seen the best of him yet. So there's a lot of stories at the highest level. And then as you mentioned, the other categories, we've got youngsters coming from the age of 15 onwards. So you might be able to see the next Freddie Spencer, the next Colin Edwards, whatever. So there's a lot to look forward to. Yeah, no, and I mean, nowadays with all the young kids coming up, it's. Uh and how fast they are immediately. Uh, and obviously they've been working their butt off, you know, from 
age three, four, five. Um, but you got some some fast young kids coming up, and obviously legends, you know, that that are going to be here as well as all the other all the other crew. <laughs> look, for look, one thing about America, what people want to do is they want to get behind their guy, and they want to find out his number, and they want to find that that's the guy. So they're going to go to the program, and they're going to look for the number five. Number five, that's me, baby. <laughs> <laughs>